basically. So with this agenda, let us get started. Look up with match function is what we will see first. Okay. So I'm using the same data that I used in the previous session. This is Superstore data where we have a list of customers, the orders that they've placed, profit and sales data. Now, let us say I need to look up in WPS checkout. If you want to know whether XLOOKUP is there in WPS or not, you just go under formulas and you just check out uh, uh, by using the insert function. You can type in XLOOKUP. If you find it, then it's there. Otherwise, it isn't. Okay. Or what you can do is simply double click equal to XLOOKUP. You see if, if the function comes up, then it is available. Okay. That is how you check whether or not a function is available. Uh, in any of the versions of Excel, certain function that you would like to use, how do you check whether it is there or not? Just double click in any cell equal to followed by the name of the function. If you find it, it means it's there. Yeah, the link to the data sources has been shared in the previous class. You can uh, go to that video and under the comment section, you will find it. The Excel data sources is available over there. Okay, Srikan. Right. So now what we will do is um, we look up itself. Okay, but quick recap of we look up. What is the purpose of it? We, when we have to search for something down vertically like that, right? When we have to search for something like this. So let's say I want to search for this order ID. Okay, I need to look up this order ID and find out who is the customer. So how will we write the VLOOKUP function equal to VLOOKUP, right? And followed by that, the lookup value. I want to look up some order ID. Let's say this one. Where are we trying to look it up? Okay, the table array. So I want to look it up in this range. So I will just select the entire range manually itself. And then comma. The column index number, which column am I trying to get back? The pullback value. Okay, I would like to get the name of the customer from here. So I will just use the column number as two. And then we want to go with an exact match. So we will give zero for false. Even if you do not give this parameter, it is fine. It will still work. Right, why will it work? Because this parameter, if you see the range lookup, is in square brackets. Okay, whatever, whichever argument comes in square brackets like that is an optional argument. And when we do not give uh, the value for range lookup over here, by default, it will take false. So if you don't put anything, it is assumed false and it will go with exact match. Now here, what is it supposed to do? It's supposed to bring back the value for me, the name of the customer. Okay, this is something we are aware of. Now this here, we are lucky because we have very small data set with just about four columns. So manually, I can count the position of the column from where I need the data. Okay, I can count the position of the column and I, I, I can simply enter the, or mention the position here. Now imagine if you have a data set with about 100 columns. So if you have to count and then figure out in which column um, your data is, the data that you're trying to pull back is, it would become a tedious job. Okay, so if we can somehow automatically fetch the column number, that would help a lot. So let's automate this also. How do we fetch the column number that we are looking for? That is where the match function comes into picture. Okay, what will match do is it will find either the column number or the row number from the list that you provide. So here, what is it that we need? We need the column number of customer name. Let's say I have about 100 columns here and I don't know where customer name is. All I know is there is a column called as customer name. I need to know in which column I have customer name. So how to write the match function in that case? Equal to match, equal to match, okay? And then the lookup value. So what am I trying to look up? I'm looking up for the column customer name. So you can either uh, uh, select it or you could hard put it. I'm searching for customer name because let's say I don't know where it is present, but I know it is there somewhere, comma, lookup array. 
where are we supposed to search for customer name, that word? So over here, in the list of columns, I need to search for it, right? In the list of columns, I'm supposed to search for it. Comma match type, we can go with exact match. We need exactly the uh, column that matches that. So I'll give zero and enter. So you see what happened? We got two. So in this range, customer name is in the second column. And that is what I got. Let's say I want to figure out where is sales. Which column is the sales column? How will we do that? Match. Then the lookup value. I would like to look for this value sales. And the lookup array. Where am I supposed to search for it? In the first row over here. Comma with an exact match. So this should return four to us. Means sales is in the fourth column. Okay. I hope you all understood this part. We are basically fetching the column number. In this case, the column number. On similar lines, match can also fetch a row number. Okay. So yeah, it is better to give the exact case over here because see, lookup value, you can just click there and select it. All right. Now let's apply this along with the lookup function. Okay. I'm going to apply this along with the lookup function. So what am I trying to look up here? is certain order ID I'm trying to look up for in this complete range. And instead of hard coding the column number, we will bring it through the match function. We will bring it using the match function. So instead of two, I will just say match. And what am I trying to look up? Customer name. Where am I trying to look it up? In this particular row. I need an exact match and I will close it. So now in this place, what will happen is we will get two, okay, because it is the same as this. Now, let's say I need to bring back the profit for some order ID. Okay, let's say this is my order ID. Okay, uh, uh, these are the returned orders. Let's say these are the returned orders. This has been returned and I need to figure out what is the profit corresponding to that order which has been returned because now we are going to refund everything. So what we do? equal to we look up what are we trying to look up this order id where are we trying to look it up in this sheet in this complete range comma the column index number i will use match okay the lookup value is i'm looking for the profit lookup arrays over here and we need an exact match Okay, so I hope you all understood that we can pull it back like this also. We can pull it back like this also. All right. Now we anyway discussed uh, previously uh, in the last session, we discussed that if you don't want to keep referencing the cell range by selecting it, you can always go ahead and name the range. And when you name the range, it will become easier for us to reference that range. Okay, so I hope you all understood the purpose of the match function, which can be used in look up something.